eye. It's Lee Gennaro back with another video. I'd like to say welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and everyone who keeps coming back each time I post a new video. Ooh, I don't know why I'm trying to catch my breath. I haven't done anything. <laughs> anyway, so this is one of the 9337 outfits that I have cut out and I'm going to try to make this um, here's the pattern hopefully you can see it um, but if you've been watching me for any amount of time you know <laughs> what pattern it is um, so I got everything separated this is the pants this is the top so a lot of, I try to make things easy on myself when I'm making this because it technically is a lot of pieces to this pattern. It's just two separate things. So I'm going to set the pants aside. Also going to set the sleeve aside for the um, top. And I like to take certain things and go ahead and get them prepped before going to the sewing machine. All right. So. This is the front and back piece for the top. This is the neck band, this is the arm band, and this is the bottom band um, for the top. Then I got the sleeve over here to the side. I'm just gonna make sure that you all can see everything. All right, so I try to pin as much as I can and take things to the sewing machine and get them sewn up. So I'm just gonna take the neck band it's right size facing you got some notches and I'm just gonna pin that it's folded in half with the right sides facing and I'm just gonna sew down that edge these are the armbands it's two of them so just open them up and you're going to fold it in half again um, it also should have some notches. I saw a new way to do armbands. I thought was awesome. But I'm not into experimenting right now. <laughs> so that's, and I'll sew down that edge. Same thing with this one. Fold it in half. And pin. And then the bottom band, you cut two on the fold. So I'm just going to op open them both up and place them with the right side spacing. And I'm just going to pin on the edge. You have notches here as well. Right, and then with this, I sew down both of those edges. So I'm just gonna take these pieces and set them aside. This is the front and back piece. So I'm just going to open them up. And place them right sides facing. And I'm going to pin at the shoulders. You should have notches here as well. <laughs> right and then I'm going to sew across the shoulder seam and that's everything that I can take to the sewing machine at one time with the 
top. Now the pants, the pants, they have a, these are the leg bands. This is the um, casing for the waistband. So same thing. This is the two leg bands. I try to keep everything with the bodice with the bodice and everything with the pants with the pants. <laughs> so again, just going to fold these. These are the leg bands. Folding them in half. I'm just going to pin so I can sew down the side. And the casing for the waistband, I do it the same way as the bottom band for the uh, top. Put these back with the pants. This is the casing. I'm just going to open it up just like you did the bottom band. Place them with the right sides facing. And I'm going to pin the ends so I can sew the ends together. And everything should have notches. Flip this. My notches weren't matching. <laughs> so pay attention to that. Pay attention to where your notches are. Right, and that's my casing pin. I'm going to put that back with the pants. All right, now with the pants, this is my back pant leg. And I have two of them, of course, so I'm just going to move one. Right, this is the back pant leg. And now remember, I made this a lot. <laughs> so I know, you know, what's going to work and what's not going to work. So what I'm going to do, this is the back. Before I put the front on top right sides facing I'm going to go ahead and take a pocket piece and I'm going to pin now this actual pattern comes with a patch pocket but I don't care for patch pockets I think they serve a purpose for some things but for this I like a regular pocket Now, if you're not comfortable doing all these things at one time, don't do it. <laughs> because I made this so many times, I'm comfortable with doing it this way. Usually, I would just go ahead and put my front pant leg on top. And then I would just sew down the crotch seam. And then I would add my pockets. But I'm trying to get the most done that I can. So, when I take this to the sewing machine, I'm going to sew down my pocket and then because I already have this front leg pin let me go ahead and take the front leg place it with the right side facing and I'm going to pin by the crotch you got notches here to line up. So just getting a lot of things done and out of the way, pin before I even go to the sewing machine. That way I, there's not a lot of up and down, up and down. I also need to put my other pocket piece on the front piece. So I'll do that in a second. I'm running out of pins. <laughs> All right. So front and back, right sides together. Um, and 
from the little crotch point here I'll sew all the way down I'm also going to sew this pocket down and I need to add another pocket piece to this front piece because I didn't do that so like I said just trying to get things done in one sitting <laughs> basically and then I'll sew down this pocket piece so I'm more than likely I'll sew the pocket pieces first down and then I'll sew down the leg all right I'm going to do the same thing with the other front and back pant, pants piece. Pieces, rather. <laughs> So I got all of that sewn together. Um, everything that I took to the sewing machine, everything that went with the top and everything that went with the pants. I've pressed all my bands. <laughs> got that done. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and add my sleeves. And I'll probably add my neck band as well. And after I sew all of that, I'll go ahead and add the arm band and the bottom band. And I'll be done with the top. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. That what the people say. Alright. So I'm just matching up my notches with my sleeve piece. Match all of your things with your sleeve. That makes it easier to pin.
And I'm going to pin the other sleeve the same way. Um, I'm also going to put, go ahead and pin the um, pants together. Might need to adjust the camera for that. So that's one sleeve. Let me grab my pants real quick. So this is one front and back pant leg. This is the crotch here. Let's see if you can see. <laughs> I'm just going to grab the other one. I'm just going to lay it on top, right sides facing. Again, doing all of these things so I can take all of this to the sewing machine at the same time. Matching up my notches. Grab this crotch seam here. Line that up and pin it. And I'm just going to sew around that. So I'm just going to finish, put my other sleeve on, add my neckband to my top, and take all of that to the sewing machine. All right, so I got the pants sewn at the crotch. Let's see if I can maneuver this thing here. Ah, they look like pants now. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to do some pinning and get these pants together. Next time you see me, it'll, the outfit will probably, probably be done. <laughs> I will link some of the videos where I made this from start to finish. Um, Cause this one, I just wanted to kind of show you how I make this um, less time consuming for me. Which is take as much to the sewing machine as you can. <laughs> but I'll link those videos. Um, where I make these from start to finish. And then I will show you all the finished product when I'm done with both the pants and the top.
And then it'll be one down and two more to go. So this pattern anyway. I gotta work on my other fall mates. Once I sew all this up, I'll add the leg bands and the casing with my elastic and the pants will be done at least. <laughs> and then I will finish up the top. 